Sometimes it's the accessory work that's the most interesting to watch. And by accessory work, I basically mean anything that isn't a snatch or a clean and jerk. Everything in this video, the muscle snatches, the push press, pulls and squats, are all accessories. And accessories usually amount to a large total percentage of training volume and tonnage, making up the majority of what it is that the athlete does on a daily basis. And so for that reason, it's particularly interesting to see the way in which they do it. As the adage goes, how you do anything is how you do everything. In this instance, watching how Lasher performs his accessories, the focus he puts into it and the enjoyment he derives from it, gives us a better look into how he does everything. Lasher's coach, George Yasinidze, the 2004 85 kilo Olympic champion, not only shares an extreme closeness with his athletes, something I've noticed that all of the best coach-athlete relationships have in an abundance, but also he creates some of the best technicians to come out of Europe. It is clear in the way that each of his athletes train that exercise selection, particularly as primers and variations, play a huge role in correcting each athlete's specific problems. Take Lasher, for example. In an attempt to ensure that he focuses on using his arms more in the turnover, he, unlike all other Georgians, starts every snatch session with muscle snatches, and even sessions where he doesn't snatch, he performs muscle snatches. You can then look at the specific variation of the muscle snatch that he uses. No contact requires a stronger finish through the legs, and not the hips, something Asanidze continually cues with Lasher. And no hook grip once again reinforces a greater role of the arms and finish and turnover. These cues make sense to Lasher, but not necessarily to others. Their aim is to increase the speed with which faulty movements adapt in a positive direction, so as to catch up with what he's already amazing at. Many athletes who use their arms too much, or who synchronize the use of their arms with respect to their final extension incorrectly, would only further exacerbate this problem. To continue focusing on ensuring that his legs contribute as much as possible to the total force applied to the bar, Lasher performs what have been colloquially coined now as Lasher pulls, a variation of the pull that overemphasizes the legs. The hips do not open fully, and so the momentum that creates the pop of the bar, the shrug of the top, and even the slight bend of the arms all comes from the legs below. And this isn't how Lasher actually lifts. He doesn't snatch like this, but this is a great example of how an accessory, in this case the snatch pull, can be modified in order to fix a specific problem. Other people do floating pulls, pulls with a pause, high pulls or deficit pulls. This is one of the roles of a great coach. You can even see coach Asanidze squatting as close as is possible to Lasher as he performs these exercises, cueing him in between and sometimes even mid repetition. How he does anything is how he will do everything. And the way in which Lasher muscle snatches 140 kilos is important as to how he will snatch 220 kilos a week later. The intent of the movement is vital. By the way, Lasher's lighter snatch and power clean session is up on the Weightlifting House Patreon page with commentary, the links in the description. The intent and focus that Lasher puts into all of these movements contributes to a success on the platform. How we do anything is how we do everything.
The Jordan team as a whole has a unique sense of cohesion. It's not that team cohesion in and of itself is unique, but it's the variation of cohesion from the Georgians that does seem unique. You certainly get more of a sense of a loyalty between them than with most countries. They all come in and train together, they all watch their teammates compete, turning up together to sit and watch and cheer on their teammates. They always do big team photos after the competitions, and there is just this sense of them being a team that you don't necessarily notice with other countries. Despite the fact that the Olympic qualification system changed to becoming based on the success of the individual rather than the team, they still act as though the success of one another is directly important to their own success. Many other countries seem to lack that. Athletes, quite understandably, are entirely focused upon themselves and their own performance, and then the motivational coach at the top attempts to bring everyone in under one umbrella, this thin veneer of a team. But with Georgia, you do genuinely get the impression that they care about how the team does as the utmost important thing, with individual successes falling slightly shy of them. With all of that said, there is, however, also a sense that Lasher is the most important that whilst the team needs to succeed together, the history of them as a group ultimately lies with the things that Lasher can do. And as a result, the additional attention that Coach Asenidzi gives Lasher isn't taken in a bitter way, but is understood as to be a benefit to them all. The whole team athletes, coaches, doctors, the masseuse, and all those involved in administration are what has caused Georgia to be arguably the fastest improving nation on the world stage. Instigated by an exceptional coach and spurred on by possibly the greatest weightlifter ever. The strongest? Yes. quick reminder that if you head over to patreon.com forward slash weightlifting house you can catch more training sessions from Lasha Talakatsi. Yeah.